you know that you can edit videos in Vimeo? Yes, that Vimeo. Hello all, Sarah Dietrich Rhymes with Peachy here. Am I, am I YouTubing again? Let's go back. Back to 2011 when I started to make more videos and well, when the dream camera was a Canon 5D Mark II. Good times. That's when Vimeo was for the filmmaker's filmmaker. Vimeo was where all the beautiful artsy stuff was and YouTube was just for cat videos and tutorials, you know? Vimeo is for films. They had this really high quality video player that wasn't super compressed. And you could actually see film grain on it. <laughs> Mind blowing. And that's probably what the majority of you guys think when you think Vimeo. Well, Fast forward to now, over 10 years, gosh, I feel like I'm aging myself. And well, what do the youth say? Uh, Vimeo has been cooking. I feel like my delivery was off there. <laughs> You can literally script, shoot, edit, and then of course share a video from end to end all within Vimeo. And then hey, if you want to use some cool AI features, they have that too. I'm a video editor first and foremost, so when Vimeo asked me to test out their new timeline-based video editor, because well, they're sponsoring this video, they, they asked nicely. And well, I'm also very curious, I said yes. That's what, that's what we're doing today. At this point, I've probably clocked in over 10,000 hours in either Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, so you know, I will be the judge of, of this. So, we're going to go to Vimeo.com. So, a lot of um, these functionalities for the video editor and a lot of the AI features that I've covered in a previous video, but I'll do a little bit here, are behind the Create button on the desktop or behind the plus button on the phone app. So if I go to the plus, I can say record the video. It's a great angle. We're gonna click this little script icon. You can write out your own script or you can let AI write it. Let's just try it real quick. Okay, this is actually pretty good. I'm gonna hit save. And just like that, we literally have a teleprompter here on the phone and I can just hit record. Welcome to the wild and wacky world of the internet, where cats reign supreme. Get ready to pause and reflect on the fascinating dominance of these furry overloads in our online lives. This is actually pretty clever. Okay, so even in the phone app, you can use the new um, video editing timeline that is more reminiscent to like what actual video editors are used to. So you can either add more takes or you can go down here. So as you can see, I can scroll through just like it's a normal timeline. I can click it, trim it here. Welcome to the wild and wacky world of the internet. You can add a logo, you know, you can add your brand kit and have your text and all of those things, add photos, graphics, etc. I just wanted to show a small demo on the phone. Obviously, I want to do the main thing on the computer, but this is cool to have on your phone too. If you want to edit the video via the text and not a traditional timeline editor, you can click this right here. It generates a transcript and then you just go and say, oh, hey, this wasn't a great take. Highlight that sentence, delete it. And then when you go back and watch it, it literally deletes that part of the video where you said the sentence that you deleted and it just cuts to the next sentence. Welcome to a world where kittens reign supreme, where feline antics have taken the internet by storm and where cats have become the undisputed rulers of our screen. Text editing with a transcript truly feels like we're living in the future. Now we are going to properly edit a video in Vimeo on the desktop. So I showed a little bit on the phone, on the desktop we're gonna go to new create video. Okay, so here you instantly have templates that you can insert your content into and just change the text, add your brand logo. So they actually already have a lot of plug and play stuff ready. If you click on presets, here's something that you can maybe post to like IG stories. Um, but okay, we are going to select start from scratch. Obviously Vimeo already has a lot of great ways to capture content already, whether it's already in my library. Um, but for the first example, I just want to take some of my own footage so I can get the hang of editing in Vimeo. All we have been doing since we brought our daughter home from the NICU is just snuggling and there's nothing wrong with that. But today we actually got the chance to bring her outside for the first time and we just did a little quick walk around the neighborhood. We covered her up and there's no people around. And I wanted to document it because, well, it was the first time outside, you know, outside of her doctor's appointments. Um, so I'm actually going to upload that footage right now. We'll just edit it together and we'll see how this goes. Okay, so this footage is from the Sony ZV-1 II. So it's from a real camera, 4K, 24 frames per second. Um, as you can see, 
see when you hover over the footage, it gives you a little preview of what we're looking at. Okay, oh, when you double click, it automatically puts the clips in the timeline. You can move it around, you can expand, make it bigger or smaller. I like that they automatically just have a white background in the background. We're gonna do Command Z, so that works to get us back to normal. And we got a full on timeline down here. Okay, press play. You can make the timeline bigger right here or smaller. Um, it's doing well updating the thumbnails. So, you know, previewing what you're looking at. It's pretty fast for like editing on the internet. You know, that's actually kind of crazy. So split here is to cut the clip. Okay, this is interesting. Um, it's not like a magic timeline like Final Cut where it uh, automatically moves your clip once you delete something, which I like because Resolve or Premiere don't do that and I that those are the programs that um, I've used. So it puts a gap here in the first 10 seconds since I just deleted um, the first 10 seconds of the clip. So I assume if I just hit this delete, okay, it'll snap back to the front for you. That makes sense. It's very good that I'm scrubbing through this and it's showing me the preview at the same time because remember, this is not footage that's natively on my computer. Uh, you know, I uploaded it to Vimeo and now I'm editing it on the internet essentially 4k footage it would be great in an update to be able to see the audio waveforms from the video so you can see when people start talking speaking of talking did you just hear my cat talk he feels left out come on wow wow say hello say hi say hi Judy. nice oh that's good figure that out by accident to add a second video track you just move it on up. Okay, so I guess the first quirk of not having a preview window is if you want to grab a part of the clip, you can't just set in and out points. You have to, you know, like drag it onto the timeline um, and find it there, which is fine. Important part of video editing is to hydrate. I know this is very basic, but you know, your girl's a mom now. Gotta own a Stanley. So now we're getting the timeline is actually pretty quick. I should probably say, if you're new to video editing, pressing the space bar is how you uh, pause and play the footage playback on the timeline. When you do this for long enough, some things come so naturally, but I feel like a lot of people who will be using this, you know, might not even know that. You know, you might have never been in Premiere or something like that. But they did a good job to keep some of those basics the same, which is, which is good. Okay, this is helpful. So that clip was a little loud. So volume controls up there, turn it down a little bit. <laughs> wow, someone should have turned the wind filter on, on the camera. She's almost more relaxed moving. Okay, so here I wanna make a little montage. So they have a library of music, so I'm gonna go to music. The first one's actually great. Vimeo has been cooking. <laughs> Love it, a little too high energy for, oh, that's, this one's perfect. I'm assuming, okay, yeah. Drop the audio down there. So here I would like it to, I wonder if you can get it to fade in. So let's turn the music down. Yeah, you can fade in, great. We'll try 30, let's do fade in over three seconds. Can't believe I'm editing a video on Vimeo right now. Let's fade in max, so five seconds, okay. So the music is like super loud for some reason. Let's see. We're gonna do like one. There you go, that's good. All right, so we're gonna whip into a montage here. So I'm going to cut the audio and then go to the audio and then raise the volume a little bit. We'll do like to five because it's montage time. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that wind is unpleasant. So I'm assuming I can just go up here, turn the volume down. There we go. LOL at me running and getting the camera and moving it. Really seeing how the sausage is made, eh? Nice. Oh, we're just a happy little family. Yeah, look at these artsy shots I got. I was out here trying, guys. Thank you. 
I get how people become family vloggers because you have children and you're just like, look how cute they are. You want to show them every second, but we know. We know that's a slippery slope. I'll try not to turn into a family vlogging channel, guys. I'll, I'll try. Oh my God, I'm like such a baby right now. I'm like almost crying editing. This is so stupid. I like got pregnant and ever since then, tears all the time. I'm just crying all the time. When I'm sad, when I'm happy, when I'm neutral, when I'm editing a video. That's <laughs> cute. Okay, so we'll do a little fade out. And then I wonder if I can do a fade out on my talking here. Nice. We're done, we did it. Edit our first Vimeo video. That was extremely easy for me. So if you've edited videos, super easy. And honestly, if you've never edited a video in your life, hopefully seeing that makes it a little less intimidating because it's extremely straightforward. All you need to know is a space bar and bring your mouse down to the edges to trim it at the beginning or end. And then basically pressing the trash can on the gaps to uh, bring the clips together. All right, save. Quality looks good. Okay, and just like that, you have a shareable, embeddable video. Very nice. Okay, that was fun. That was for me. I wanted to put those clips together. Uh, obviously, you have stock footage. Um, you have your library, which is the you know big library of Vimeo videos that you already have under your Vimeo account. As you can see here, I actually use uh, Vimeo to send notes when I'm using an editor. And the biggest reason why I use them over other apps is because their mobile app is really good and you can speed up the video on the mobile app and also add notes. For some reason, the other people, maybe they have them now, but they didn't have that on their mobile app for a while. So you have your library of Vimeo uh, videos, footage that you've uploaded, stock footage, but already what I've shown you a little bit is Vimeo actually has a lot of ways to capture just within um, you know, Vimeo. So I'm gonna hit this record button. This should seem familiar. It's what we just saw on the phone. So I'm actually going to copy and paste that um, AI script that we made. And you can also use the teleprompter here right on your computer as well. So we're just gonna pick up where we left off and I'll show you how to do it here. So we already recorded uh, this first chunk. So let's just do the second chunk. We gotta get a better angle here. Here, you know, there we go. Do I look that shiny on camera? <laughs> Open teleprompter. There we go. This is, I love this so much. I wonder if I do auto, does it listen to my voice? Ah, cat videos, the ultimate guilty pleasure. Oh my God, that is mind blowing. I've used this before, but I don't know if this is a new feature because I don't remember this last time I used this. So if you have it on auto, it hears you saying the words and it'll move it for you. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Ah, cat videos, the ultimate guilty pleasure of the online world. But have you ever wondered how this phenomenon started? It all began in the early days of the internet when a video of a mischievous, of a mischievous, mischief? I can't say the word mischievous. Mischief, mischief, mischief. You know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna change it. Cute. There we go, open teleprompter, easy enough. It all began in the early days of the internet when a video of a cute little kitty named Fluffy went viral. And since then, cats have clawed their way into our hearts and, well, laptops. But what is it about these free overlords that makes us go gaga? Well, scientists believe it's all about their irresistible charm and uncanny ability to express emotion. It's funny, the script is actually good. I feel like uh, this could be like a little, uh, what's that channel like the, well, there's several YouTube channels devoted to cats, but I feel like this could be an actual YouTube video. Saving to library. Okay, so we just recorded inside Vimeo. Now the video that we just recorded is gonna be plopped right in our timeline. And so we recorded and now we can edit and then publish all within um, Vimeo. And if I wanted to, I could get the start of that script that I recorded on my phone and since it's under my same you know account I could just plop that in the beginning of our screen Ah, uh, cat videos. Okay, great start. So if you wanna use uh, those templates that I showed earlier, they're right here. You can add text, um, you know, graphics, etc. Now I wanna see if I can upload a picture of a cat. So I'm assuming you just upload it as media. Yeah, and then here you have support for multiple tracks of video and audio. You just drag and drop, boom, then you got some B-roll. Ah, uh, cat video. <laughs> you know, I just like this one. I think I can crop it. There we go. Wait, I didn't even have to do that because Vimeo has stock cat pictures right here. Motion effect? Zoom in? Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, cat videos. The ultimate guilty pleasure of the online world. 
<laughs> Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go upload this video to my new uh, cat YouTube channel. Subscribe down below, AKA my Instagram stories. I do post a lot of um, Mr. Judy there. Okay, this is very capable. One last thing, when using this record feature, um, you can actually very easily share your screen and record your face. So that's super good for like seminars or maybe you're making an explainer video uh, for someone publicly and you can share the video um, or within your company, you know? So I can say, share screen, we'll go to window, we'll go to Chrome tab, pick the uh, cute cats. Yes, love it. Okay, to include your camera, share your full screen. Oh, share screen, entire screen. Oh, there is my video. Start recording, I wonder if I can make, oh yeah. So you can make this as big as you want. Get some picture in picture. Okay, so as you can see, there are many cute cats here on the Google. Look at this cute cat. So it saves automatically to your library. And I'm assuming once this is done, it'll just pop it right into the timeline. Yep, and there it goes. Oh, that's actually extremely handy. So it saved my webcam and the web page separately. So I can go back and resize this as much as I want and I don't have um, that like UI around it. So I can just put this right on top of the screen recording below it. Okay, that was actually super surprising, easy to use, so many features, no matter if you are a full on creative and you are a video editor or you're just Susan for marketing, um, I actually think you can find this extremely helpful. Again, there's a lot of great templates if you just want a plug and play solution. If you wanna check it out, most of these creation features like the teleprompter, text-based editing, and the AI script generator are all available under Vimeo standard plan, um, but I'm pretty sure that the timeline-based video editor is available with a free account. So you can check that out now. I'll leave the link in the description below. So look, you're not going to edit a feature film on Vimeo, but they've implemented a lot of cool content creation tools that a casual creative could literally use to bring a video from start to finish all in one platform, which is pretty cool. A part of me would still love to see Vimeo embrace the more filmmaky crowd that still uploads to their platform to this day, but it's clear that now more people than ever need to figure out video. I feel like a lot of you guys probably have jobs in you know, marketing firms or agencies where this is actually extremely handy. So Vimeo is really out there just doing all the things, you know, respect. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. One more thing about the video player. It now has so many new features too that is perfect for you know websites. You can literally do lead capture forms directly uh, from the video. There's clickable hotspots. You can also shop directly from the video. There's auto closed captioning, the ability to have multiple audio tracks, and of course, your videos are always ad free. So the truth is I truly can't fit in all of this into one video, um, but if you want to learn more, again, check out my link in the description below. And yeah, thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next video. I don't know when it'll be, but I'm making videos again. It feels good. Um, you know, I'm just putting no pressure on myself and just doing the things. Thanks for hanging out with me. You know, still a little rusty on the outros. Okay, everyone, stay peachy. Okay, bye. I think Jeannie might be the most excited about this out of everyone. I am so excited. Okay, this is a huge moment because, you know, we brought home baby girl when she was 35 weeks gestationally, and now she's like 38. So technically, even though she's over two months old, now that she's 38 weeks, she could have been here. So I think that's a good marker for a baby girl's first walk outside. She is so excited. Internet police, we only keep her in the donut thing when we are around and watching her, okay? Look at this cute cherry outfit. Look how cute she is, guys. John's just like standing out there. Oh, look at her. Should we try? No, I'll walk slowly. This is awesome. So far, she's chill. Look, Granny D. Granny D. <laughs> she's almost more relaxed moving than stationary. Yeah, she likes She's looking proper. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Your first walk. Did you like it? Say that was a success. I say we that was a success. <laughs> <Yee>. <laughs>